On an overcast day on Neptune, it may rain diamonds. You hear that correctly, diamonds. Neptune is an awe-inspiring planet that has captivated scientists and stargazers for centuries. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the mysterious world of Neptune and explore its fascinating features. From its clouds that contain frozen methane to its powerful winds, Neptune is an incredible planet with some truly unique characteristics. Do you know who has plans to visit Neptune in the not-too-distant future? Stick around and we'll let you in on it. Neptune is the eighth and farthest known planet from the Sun in our solar system. It is a gas giant with an atmosphere composed of hydrogen, helium and methane. Despite being so distant from Earth, Neptune holds many mysteries that have captivated scientists for centuries. Neptune has some unique features that make it stand out among its planetary neighbors. Its atmosphere has some of the most powerful winds in our solar system, reaching speeds up to 2,200 km per hour. Neptune also has a wide range of temperatures, with the coldest even ranging up to minus 218 degrees Celsius. Additionally, it is the only planet not visible to the naked eye due to its extreme distance from Earth. The combination of these features and its unique environment make Neptune an exciting planet to study and explore. It is truly a fascinating place in our solar system worthy of further scientific exploration. Neptune has a diameter of 49,244 kilometers, or 30,599 miles, at its equator, making it nearly four times wider than Earth. Neptune orbits the Sun at an average distance of 4,495,069,150 km, or 2,795,084,000 miles. It takes Neptune 164.79 Earth years to orbit the Sun once. Neptune has 14 known moons and is also home to several rings discovered in 1989. Its blue color comes from traces of methane in its upper atmosphere. The planet has the strongest winds of any other planet in our solar system, with gusts up to 2,200 miles per hour. Since its official discovery in 1846, Neptune has been an enigma to astronomers. Before then, scientists had suspected the existence of a planet beyond Uranus and studied perturbations in Uranus's orbit as evidence. In 1844, John Couch Adams, and Urbane Leveria became the first to calculate that an eighth planet could explain the change. However, it was Johann Gottfried Galle who finally observed Neptune just one degree from the predicted location on September 23, 1846. He noted the planet's blue-green color and two faint companions that he had seen with a telescope back in 1845 but failed to recognize as the outermost planets of our solar system at the time. Neptune's discovery opened a new realm of exploration and understanding in astronomy, revealing the power of science to uncover the unknown. The planet has since been studied and observed more closely by astronomers around the world. With its long orbit and incredible gravity, it continues to amaze us with its mysterious beauty. Early observations of Neptune's moons and rings began in the late 19th century, when astronomers realized that something was blocking light from reaching the planet. Since then, studies have revealed that the planet is orbited by 14 known moons. Triton, Nereid, Despina, Galatia, Thalassa, Halamede, Sao, Laumedia, Samaphae, Niso, Proteus, Larissa Hippocamp, and Naiad, as well as several narrow rings. The largest of these moons is Triton, which is Neptune's only large satellite and orbits in a retrograde direction. In addition to these known features, recent observations have also revealed that Neptune has several faint rings which have been named the Adams, Leveria, Lasselle, and Galley rings. Although these rings are far fainter than those of Saturn, they are known to be composed of relatively large dust particles that can reflect sunlight. Recently, scientists have discovered a number of strange storms on its surface including the Great Dark Spot, which was first observed in 1989 by Voyager 2. This storm is similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot, though much larger. More recently, other large dark spots have been observed, including a smaller one called the Scooter. These storms are thought to be driven by Neptune's interior heat and high winds, although their exact mechanism remains unknown. Scientists continue to study these phenomena, looking for more clues about the planet's inner workings. Neptune's atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, and a small amount of methane. 
Its climate is very cold and windy, with temperatures ranging from minus 218 degrees Celsius to minus 243 degrees Celsius. The pressure at Neptune's cloud tops can exceed 1,000 bars, making it the most extreme environment in the solar system. Winds on Neptune can reach speeds of over 2,000 km per hour, making them the fastest winds in the entire solar system. There are many other fascinating features of Neptune's atmosphere, such as its upper-level clouds and hazes. The climate is also very dynamic, with large storms forming that can last several months or even years. Exploration of Neptune has been fairly limited up until now. In 1989, the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Neptune and provided humanity with our first detailed look into this mysterious distant planet. Since then, most of our knowledge about Neptune has been gleaned from ground-based observations or studies of images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. While this has provided us with some insight into the planet's features and characteristics, there are still many unanswered questions. In order to better understand Neptune and its environment, future missions must be launched. One such mission is the new Chinese mission, which is scheduled to launch in the coming years. This spacecraft will make multiple flybys of Neptune while gathering data on its composition, atmosphere and magnetosphere. Scientists also hope that it may be able to provide further information on Neptune's moons, including its largest moon, Triton. Compared to other planets, it has some unique features. Neptune is four times larger than Earth and 17 times more massive, making it the fourth most massive planet in our solar system. Its atmosphere is mainly composed of hydrogen, helium and methane. This gives it an aqua blue color, which makes it distinguishable from other planets. In addition, unlike other planets, Neptune does not have any solid surfaces and is composed of only gas and liquid. Its average temperature is minus 214 degrees Celsius, the coldest among all the planets in our solar system. Furthermore, its year is nearly 166 times longer than Earth's, meaning it takes about 164.79 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Reports suggest that the upper atmosphere of Neptune is composed of hydrocarbon particles that freeze and fall as a type of diamond rain. These diamonds are not suitable for gemstones or jewellery, however, as they are likely smaller than a micrometer in size. The falling diamonds form when methane molecules, which are abundant in Neptune's atmosphere, break apart due to intense cold and pressure. These carbon atoms form the methane, then bond together to form tiny pieces of diamond that fall through the atmosphere. Further research is needed to confirm the exact nature of diamond rain, but it may be one of Neptune's most captivating features. Exploring Neptune is an important part of understanding our solar system and its history. By studying Neptune, we can learn about the formation process of planets as well as their evolution over time. We can also gain insights into how the outer solar system works and if there are other objects like Neptune that we may have missed along the way. Additionally, exploring Neptune can help us better understand the relationship between planets and moons in our solar system, helping us to better predict their behavior. Ultimately, with such a fascinating planet so far away from us, it's clear why we should continue to explore Neptune in order to gain a greater understanding of our solar system. It's an exciting time for space exploration, and Neptune is an excellent place to start. What's your favorite fact about Neptune? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.